Hey guys, it's a Wolfman coming at you today um, with a video on how to make some coins in Madden Ultimate Team. Now, this is what I've been using as a minimal money spend player. I've, I'll get into it later, but I've spent thirty dollars on the game so far as far as mutt content, um, and I just want to help you guys out. I, I feel like there's a lot of YouTube videos on coin making methods, but some of them are gimmicky. Some of them require a lot of gameplay. This is just raw. Anybody can do this. You don't have to be good at the game. You just need some coins to do it. It, it requires a minimum of, of 120,000 coins, but as I'll get into later in the video, better if you can have a few more than that. So without further ado, let's get into it here as we start off with why you should listen to me. I think that's a fair question to start out with um, when, you know, potentially following a, uh, a stream or a YouTuber or Twitch, like what are your credentials? So this is my team that I've been able to assemble. Uh, I've spent $30, as I said before, I spent um, 10 or 15 bucks, I guess, on the Series Redux player at level 70. And I got Patrick Willis. And then on the Blitz promo, I did buy a full NFL 100 pack and I got Lawrence Taylor with that poll but everything else that you see is based on crunchy numbers such as the method that I'm going to show you today I'm an accountant by nature as you can tell it was a little bit of a late day in the office a little bit of a different background than most Madden players but I'm able to use basically math to find these coin methods so now that you know why you should be listening to me um with this team and coin count let's get into the actual numbers which is what i would be interested in if i were you guys so starting off here i'm gonna pull up my spreadsheet all right here we go it's beautiful isn't it no super nerdy here but hey if it makes you coins this is gonna be a raw video but bear with me we're, we're gonna make you some coins so two aspects of this coin method one buying 91s for roughly 120k that's that's a good training price that's not a snipe you cannot flip a 91 make coins because tax is just too high tax on a 120,000 coin sell is 12,000 very hard to snipe 91s for over 12k under um value or it's just rare so this is a good price and this will give you a training value of 17 17 and a half coins per training which the second piece of this coin method is going to be buying veteran packs which sounds you know veterans have gotten a bad rap this year they're not very good they're not very useful Prelo likes to hype on the fact that you can put any any team chem on them which is true but if they're not a very good player how much value does that actually give you well, I'm going to say that veteran cards might become your new best friend after learning about this. So, buying a 91 for 120,000 coins, quick selling it for 6840 training will get you um, veteran packs at a cost of 35,000 coins. Now, the worst pull you can get out of a veteran pack is an 86. You can't do 84s and 85s. It's actually impossible, which is great for us. So right now, 86s sell for 36,000 coins, which is actually more than the 35,000 coins that it costs you to make the pack. However, sad day, EA gets their 10% cut, and we're down to netting 32,400 off of an 86 pull. That said, that's only a 2,500 coin loss, and I say only a little bit sarcastically because you know that is a that is a significant loss um, to take. However, every other pull you can get is profitable, and it's significantly profitable. For instance, an 89 pull, you net 63, 63,000, almost 64,000 coins. That is a 30k profit after taxes. Now you may be wondering, well, what are the actual odds that I'm going to pull these players? Well, I've already done the math. I was your guinea pig. I pulled 154 of these things um, on my quest to make the coins that 
I'm presenting you today. And through those polls, which I've recapped down here, um, I will do, oop, I gotta go, gotta get a little bit bigger here. So down here you see 154. And these are just count if functions basically to tabulate them up. All right, really nerdy stuff. But you know what, if it makes us coins, it's cool, right? So in total, out of 154 of these polls under the current market conditions, which basically I update this column for the updated prices and this spot for the updated, yeah, I update five cells for the updated prices. Under the current market conditions, I would have made 844,000 coins off of pulling 154 of these packs. That seems like a lot, and it is. It is an average of 5,000, it's almost 5,500 coin profit per pull. Obviously, if you only have, you know, and it's per pull, it's, it's 35,000 per pull. All right, so you do need some coins. As I mentioned earlier, to buy the 91s, you need 120K. Um, and I'm going to come back here. Ooh. Probably wrong button. Let's see. Are we up? Yeah, we're back. All right. Talking to you guys then. So, like I said, 120K will get you in the door. It will buy you a 91 overall card. However, it is very possible with those three pulls that you get with your 91 card, you might get 386s. That is why it is vital to recognize that there is a pack luck aspect to this coin method. Now, the beautiful thing about it is that it's, fi it's really profitable. If you have, well, either one pack luck or two a lot of coins, because on average, I mean, after 154 pulls, that is a large sample size. I know this is profitable, and I'm I've been doing this method. Now, let's put our money where our mouth is. Let's show you guys how to get the 91s for the best possible price. And I cannot guarantee you that we will find one because I don't want to make a 20 minute long video to find a 91 but on average I find them about every five minutes I'd say for the price that we're looking for so to find 91s you do need a filter out program now you'd like it to be a old offense old defense as your toggle filter there are too many listed because you need to make sure you're seeing 59 minutes you're seeing 59 minutes you're seeing the newest cards you have a chance all right so I just go through here I'm um, starting off Legends, flashbacks, heavyweights, those are all good um, filters to go off of. The best one is football outsiders. A lot of times the kicker go up for cheap. Yeah, absolutely, I will buy that. All right, Shaquille Barrett. See, I wasn't kidding you guys. Five minutes would be a long time to not get one of these cards. All right, so then we have it, right? We got our training. We're good to go. I'm actually going to do another pass. I'm interested to see if I can pluck another one out of here. Series Redux, really hit or miss. These are pretty rare cards, but sometimes people will throw a kicker up for cheap. So you might as well check as you're making your rounds through the filters. Uh, Mutt Hero is pretty stale. Honestly, those cards have been out for a long time. Not a lot being pulled. Harvest, I haven't gotten any of those. I mainly, you know, just the make sure that I'm giving every every category a chance as I wait for something to get posted. So we'll do one more run through here, see if we can pluck off another one um, for a price. Again, we're looking for 120K. 125K is still gonna be profitable, but the more you save, the stingier you are, the more picky you are, the better off you're gonna be doing. Absolutely. So I'm actually gonna buy this, 123, that's good. That'll give us a few more pulls. So we're going to see how the YouTube pack luck is here in a second. So buying two of them will give us seven pulls. We got 14,000 training. And we're going to head on over to the training store. Again, market conditions can change. This will require an analysis, an updated analysis, to know if this is profitable or not. If you the easiest way to get an updated analysis on this method is to tune into my channel I'll put a link in the description um, and also on Twitter um, if you follow me there as well so our first poll a nice little 89 that's pretty nice as I'm gonna make sure that I get my polls documented so I make sure 
get as accurate of information to you guys as I can. And yeah, I've, I've loved this method. I am being fully transparent when I say this is what I've used to build wealth in this game. Um, it's basically down cycling, if that's a word. Taking a higher overall card for cheap training and recycle them into lesser cards that sell for overtraining value is essentially the method in a nutshell. And right now it's super good. 86s sell for quite a bit. And these will sell. Um, but again, you have to check your prices, you have to know your prices. And uh, this spreadsheet will be linked in the description. I don't know if I've said that yet. But as we continue to pull um, 286s, but remember that 89 made us 30K after taxes. So we could honestly pull all 86s and we're still going to be ahead. That is how powerful um, th this method is. I don't think we're going to st pull straight 86s after it. But we're only losing 2,500 coins per 86 when we're gaining 30,000 on an 89. It takes 15, doing a quick math in my head, it take, let's, it, it take like 10 of those bad pulls to offset it as we get an 88, which that's big profit. Yeah, this, this is working out really well, to be honest. Again, it does require a little bit of pack luck, a little bit of coins. But if you have both, which I think a lot of people that have had the game for a while should should be able to scrounge up um, some coins in order to do this method. I like it a lot. Um, I do have one other coin method that I will go over in a different video. I feel like this one took some explaining. It's very math intensive. The other one isn't as intensive, but I would like to separate that into a separate YouTube video. Now, this is going to be... I know this is my first YouTube video. It's not going to be the most pretty at first, but the timeliness of this video is very important. That's why I wanted it to get out as soon as I can, because the market can change, and if the market changes, this could go away. So I, I didn't want to spend a lot of time perfecting a speech about how you guys need to like the channel um, and subscribe to it right off the bat, because I'm a new YouTuber that's going to be coming out with content. But I'm very excited about it. Like I said, I'm an accountant during the day. Um, so that occupies most of my time. I will put up my stream schedule. That's that's where I'm the most active, honestly, is I've had a Twitch channel for quite some time. Wanted to get some YouTube content out there and wanted to explore that realm. But like I said, by day I'm an accountant. So this is, this is for fun. This is to help you guys out, uh, build a community, see what we can do. Um, as we pull our last card. So there are a fair few 86s in there, but that 89 and those, that 88 made us lots of coins. Um, I can do the math, but I don't think it would be relevant. I think it's pretty clear um, that it was profitable. It's what I've been using. So with that, I do want to just say one more thing about myself. I, I do play Weekend League. I stream it every week. Um, link will be in the description. Here's the stream schedule. Um, and this, I, I do play Weekend League, and last weekend I got 18 wins. So I'm an aspiring competitive Madden player. Definitely not God tier yet, but I have a very good squad. I love the team building aspect of this game. I love the competitive aspect. And to be quite frankly, Quite frank with you, it's a great way to save money playing this game this way because every time you leave the house, you're spending money. So at the end of the day, this is great. I just bought a house. I put a lot of money into the house. So I'm like, you know what? Let, let's let's game. Let's uh, let's cut back on going out to the bars and whatnot and hang out. Let's see if we can't build a community. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys find this method helpful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of it, your success your background, anything you want. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good night.